Grocery shopping twice a month has allowed my family and I to reduce food waste, save money, and time. We're gonna go to Sprouts, Costco, and Sam's Club. Those are usually my go-to stores every time we go grocery shopping. And I'm going to give you guys some tips and meal ideas along the way. So now one of the first things that you want to do is check your pantry. It may seem like it's common sense, but honestly, I would always forget to check my pantry before grocery shopping. <laughs> What's so funny? And so a lot of things would go to waste. And when you're checking your pantry, the things that are gonna expire first, those are the ingredients that you want to use in order for you to plan your meals for the next two weeks. Let me give you an example. This lard is about to expire. I already have masa harina in my pantry. I also have some hojas to make tamales. So the only things that I need to buy are the ingredients to make the fillings. Now this is what my fridge looks like before grocery shopping. Now this is one fridge. I have another one in the garage and I also have a big freezer in the garage as well. So as you can see, we still have lemons, lemons and oranges. Um, we, still, we still have carrots and they don't have any mold. So I'm thinking about having these, oops, I'm thinking about having those as a snack later. And then all of that food right there, that's everything that I've made for the past few days. We still have some cantaloupe left. It still tastes good. If you look in here, we still have some limes, apples. Those always last good until the last week before grocery shopping. We still have a few kiwis and they're still good. See the other one? Let's push it. Now, down here, I still have some tomatillos, tomatoes. I have poblano peppers. So I honestly think that we'll probably go to the grocery store in about like four, four days. And then we still have some jicamas, no mold, bell pepper. We still have two bell peppers as well. So I can make chicken fajitas with those. Now, I know that you might be thinking that it might be difficult because I know that most of us go grocery shopping once a week, but I want you to put in the effort and start making meals from scratch. Our first stop is Sam's Club. My biggest tip when grocery shopping is to always carry some snacks. Don't shop while you're hungry. You'll want to buy everything that you see and crave and that's not good. Now, I get most of my produce here. When you're picking out bananas, make sure to pick out the green ones so that you can still have some for the second week. The reason why I get so many bananas is because I like to make banana oatmeal pancakes and almond flour banana muffins, which by the way, you can find the recipes on my TikTok or Instagram. We also eat the bananas as a snack. Now get yourself a pineapple and make yourself some agua fresca. I'm also going to make mango ice cream with chamoy. That's why I got a box of mangoes. It's super easy to make and I'll be uploading the recipe soon. Can you believe that it hasn't even been 15 minutes and we were already snacking on our protein bars because we got hungry? When you are picking out your fruit or vegetables, make sure to actually check it because sometimes they'll be squishy or they'll have mold. You want to pick the best ones so that they can last. The avocados were not good here at all. Every single one of them were so squishy, therefore we didn't get any. Get yourself some bags of mini cucumbers because they're so good and they also make a great snack for the kids. Now my biggest tip is to get a bag of cuties, oranges, and apples and eat those last because they last a long time in the fridge. Get yourself a bag of lemons or limes to make marinades. I have several delicious recipes so make sure to check those out on Instagram and TikTok. The fruits that you want to eat first are grapes, cherries, strawberries, raspberries, and blueberries. The reason why I get so many is because we eat a lot of fruit in this house. In order to make these fruits last, wash them only when you plan to eat them. Don't wash everything when you get home. Leave them in their container. This is going to make a huge difference because I used to wash everything when I would get home and it would grow mold in a few days. The fruits that we eat first are raspberries, blueberries, and strawberries. The grapes will still be good entering the 6th or 7th day, assuming that you picked out a good box. Now let me show you what we get at the meat department. 
This trip really hurt my husband's pockets just because our freezers were low on meat and chicken. I think that you get a better deal here if you want carne to make carne asada. Get some beef chuck roast and make my birria recipe. So many people have made it and they love it. It's on my Instagram and TikTok. Now, it wouldn't be a Sam's Club trip without getting a California Crunch Roll. If you're buying organic meat or chicken, you're going to see a big difference in that grocery bill but it's honestly up to you. You don't have to buy the organic if you don't want to. I hadn't seen Chobani Flip at Sam's Club for a while, so I had to get one box and then I just got some other essentials that I needed. I had to get two carts because my kids were fighting, but now our second stop is Costco. Let's start off with the produce section. We mostly get everything at Sam's, but I love to get two bags of salad here. I also grabbed a bag of bell peppers. You can make chicken fajitas, and the best part is that they will last two weeks in the fridge, so you want to make a meal with these once you start running out of produce. Now the avocados were good here, so I grabbed one bag to make guacamole. Since I don't know how to make croissants, a box of these is a must because they're so cheap and delicious. I'm back at the meat department because, like I said, I need to stock up on my freezer. I got one pack of meat and two pack of chicken thighs. One of the biggest concerns that you guys have told me about is milk. If you don't want to go to the grocery store within two weeks, I recommend buying the Kirkland lactose-free milk because if you look at the expiration date, it'll last longer than your regular milk. I know it's expensive, but if you don't want to buy this milk, go to the store as needed but only to buy milk, nothing else. We did this until I discovered this lactose-free milk, so I hope that this tip helps. The ham here is great for sandwiches and I love that it has clean ingredients. We get two boxes of yogurt just because my kids don't drink as much milk, but this is how I get them to eat their dairy serving. It's also a great snack that you want entering the second week of no grocery shopping. I don't know about you, but I've struggled so much with trying to make sourdough bread, so I get this brand at Costco for sandwiches. It'll last 14 days, assuming you leave it in the fridge. I also get marinara sauce because I like to make pizzas for my family. It's super easy to make, and I wanted to get some spaghetti pasta, but they didn't have any, so I got the other pack with different shapes. I don't know if you noticed, but I don't buy as many processed snacks just because I don't want the temptation at home. I used to buy a lot of them before I had kids, but once you have kids, your shopping and eating habits change so much. We're finally done at Costco, so now let's go to Sprouts. This is a very short trip. I don't buy that much food here, but the things that I do buy are the things that you usually can get at Costco or Sam's, or things that I just don't want to buy in bulk because it'll go to waste. For the produce, I like to pick out the harder tomatoes so that they last until the 13th or 14th day of no grocery shopping. I also like to get a few bags of Jamaica to make agua fresca. Now for the onions, I get them here because I like to pick them out. It's a little harder to tell at Sam's or Costco if the bag has mold. Also, the ones here are much smaller, which are better in my opinion because you don't want to keep cutting them and saving the other half in the fridge. It'll grow mold, but do store them at room temperature. Jalapeños, serranos, cilantro, tomatillos, and cabbage are things that you can't get at Costco. Eat the cabbage during the first week. The jalapeños, serranos, and tomatillos will last in the fridge entering that second week of no grocery shopping. Now the cilantro is a little iffy because if you don't store it properly, it'll go bad fast. I'm actually growing some in my backyard and it's one of those plants that doesn't require a lot of maintenance. I'll show you guys my little garden in another video. I'm growing a few things that tend to go to waste in the fridge and I think that the garden will be so helpful for us in the near future. But that is it you guys. I really hope that you found this video helpful and don't forget to subscribe.